were there, and a big catch, inspired by a prophet, what's his name, Jesus, get out. He's staying with Simon Peter, you know him, the fisherman? Do I know him? Yes. He owes me back taxes, doesn't he? Move! Yes, yes, I've never been there, but my father's Well, well, well. Well, if there's been a big catch, he can pay, can't he? The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field. A man finds it, and in his joy spends everything he has to buy that field. It's like a merchant in search of fine pearls. He finds one pearl of great value and sells everything to have that pearl. You, you're all fishermen. Well, the kingdom of heaven is like a net, a great net thrown into the sea. Suddenly it is filled. It's almost bursting. You have to call to the other boats to come and help. Everybody's working together, happy, excited. It's a time for joy for rejoicing in what God has freely given. But one day, God will ask you to account for the gift he has given. Be prepared. The kingdom of heaven is at hand.
Rabbi, you say the kingdom of heaven is at hand. But when exactly will it come? When you see the clouds moving from the east, you say the rain is coming. And so it is. When the desert wind blows, you say it'll be hot. And it is. All of you can read the signs of the earth and the sky. How is it you can't read the signs of the times? The kingdom of heaven is here. Now. What's he doing here? It's Matthew, the tax collector. Get him out. Peter, your friend, Matthew is here. Get out. You're defiling this house. Blood-sucking tax collector. No place for you here. Out of my house! You stop! Help! Oh, Simon, don't! I will not have Simon, it defiled what? by you! Simon! I hear you've had a big catch, Simon. We'll talk about it later, shall we? But what about this friend of yours? This new preacher or teacher or whatever he is? Am I not allowed to speak with him? Not in my house. <laughs> you seem to be most unwelcome here. I don't know your name. I know what you do. Levi. Or Matthew. I'm known by both names. And by others. <laughs> I see you and I must meet in a place where both of us are welcome. Is your own house far? Why do you ask? I should like to have supper with you tonight. You would enter the house of a sinner. I would enter any house where I am welcome. Help me. I've been this way for 20 years. It is the curse of God. Punishment for my sins and for my parents' sins. Your sins are forgiven you. Rabbi, you must not speak so. That's blasphemy. Only God can forgive sins. Which of these is easier? To say your sins are forgiven you? Or rise up and walk home? The Son of Man has the power to forgive sins. Rise and walk home. <laughs> 